Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor. And guys, in today's session, we will take a look at the construction of a conical spring. Now, I have already uploaded four videos in this Helix series and this is probably going to be the last video ending with a conical spring. So, let's see how it goes. And here we go. A conical spring of a bicycle seat has the following specifications. Draw the front view and top view of the spring. Only one turn is sufficient. And by the way, this problem has been taken from uh, engineering drawing by ND part. It's an excellent book. I guess uh, if you are a mechanical or a civil engineer, you should definitely purchase this. Now, the outer diameter of the coil at the bottom is 72 and outer diameter of the coil at the top is 42. Let me just try to give you a proper visualization. So, in case of a conical helix, and uh, let's have a different color. It's, it's something like this. Let's say for one revolution, you finally reach here. Okay. So this over here is basically referred to as the pitch or the axial advance. Now in this manner, we'll go something like this, right? Something like this. And finally, this is the path. And this is exactly what we'll be making. But this is more of more in a rough sense. I'll give you the exact figure. Okay. With perfect dimensions. Don't worry. Now, this circle over here is having a diameter of 10 millimeters, number one. Once again, this circle is the wire diameter that is 10 millimeters. Apart from that, this is the coil. Okay, right from the center. Right from the center, center to center. That is the mean, I am writing this in short, mean coil diameter at the bottom. Right? Uh, one more thing that is outer coil diameter is 72 millimeters. That means from here until you reach here, this is the outer coil diameter. D outer at bottom is equal to, well, that's 72 millimeters. So just think about this. This is going to be the inner coil diameter, isn't it? So for finding the inner coil diameter, you need to reduce 10 and 10, that is 20 from this 72. So D inner bottom is going to work out as 72 minus 10 minus 10 that is going to be equal to 52 so mean is going to be how much somewhere in between 72 and 52 that is going to be 62 in the same manner here also here also there is an outer coil let me just try to make it outer coil is d outer at the top this has been given as 42 similarly there is going to be a mean here and there is going to be an inner also so the mean is going to be just 10 less than this that is 32 and inner is going to be 42 minus 10 minus 10 that is 22. Don't worry. I'll explain this in a very, very sophisticated manner. This was just a rough estimate. Okay. Once, once again, let's, let's zoom into this and let's have a clearer picture. Okay. So outer to outer that is 72, which has been given already. Mean is going to be 62. So this is five radius. This is five, five plus five is 10. So when you, uh, subtract 10 from 72 you'll get 62 and you, <clears throat> when you su subtract 5 and 5 right from the center for 62 minus 5 minus 5 you get the inner not inner but yes inner diameter but at the bottom so this is how you need to deal with it okay now let's let's rub all of this and let's get down to business so here we go the first thing to do is to make an xy line okay so there are going to be two concentric circles uh, we are making the bottom coil first Okay, so there is going to be this one, which is having a diameter of 72. There is going to be an inner coil at the bottom, which is going to have a diameter of, uh, this is 72 by the way, let me just write this, bottom coil. So bottom coil, the datas are 72 is outer and inner is how much? Inner is going to be 52 and mean, mean is going to be 42 not 42 but 62 in the same manner there is going to be a top coil that top coil is having an outer dia is 42 this is 42 so inner is going to be that is 42 minus 20 that is going to give you as 22 and this is going to be mean somewhere in between 22 and 42 that is 32 so that's exactly what needs to be done once again bottom coils top view has been made okay so this Outer one is having a diameter of 72, that means radius 36. Inner one is having a diameter of 52. There you go. Now you have got to make 
make a circle again in between these two exactly in between these two having a diameter of 62 there we go okay now let's do 12 divisions let's mark them from 1 to 12 okay now when you take a look at this from the front what would you see you project the lines from these points this mean diameter okay try to focus on the mean diameter and nothing else everything will fall in place with the help of y diameter don't worry okay now we don't know what the height of the cone is we don't need that really the next data which we are going to use we've already used these two datas the next data which we'll use is this pitch and that is 60 millimeters so from here travel 60 millimeters up this line which i have just drawn this is 60 millimeters okay this is 60 millimeters and then just make a line and let me tell you something about this line this is where the top coil is and that top coil by the way is having an outer dia as 42 inner dia as 22 but we are concerned with this mean diameter so this has got to be 32 that means from this point 16 towards the right and 16 towards the left done let's join them okay or let's produce this further and somewhere along this line we'll have the apex of the cone how to locate that it's very easy just extend these two generators and here we go that's it extend these generators also that's it very easy isn't it guys don't worry the dimensions i'll be doing at the end once the drawing is over we'll then put up all the dimensions right don't be in a hurry to put up put them up always once the drawing is finished then only put the dimensions because there are a whole lot of lines construction lines and solid lines so they should not interfere intersect okay now moving forward let's start from this point okay watch outer coil and if you just want if i can just make a projection from this point and this point outer periphery if i can just bring this downwards it is going to intersect somewhere here and here right exactly exactly okay now what we need to do is this for one revolution for one revolution how many parts are there 12 parts so this line over here this much portion only this much between this point and this much this has to be divided into 12 equal parts okay how can that be done we got to use the line division technique so randomly make any line at any angle done so now you provide five millimeter arcs now this is something which you can choose randomly okay i choose this five millimeter arcs so keep on marking them all of them are five millimeter radii arcs rather how many 12 for 12 divisions along this line so this 12th arc has to be joined with this point over here let me just show you now with the help of a drafter well the remaining the remaining lines can be made just set your drafter along this line tighten the screw bring it over to this 11th point draw a line to this 10th point draw a line keep on doing so until all the points have been exhausted and there you go now you need to project lines horizontal lines rather from all these points in this manner very easy with the help of a drafter i guess isn't it okay so what's the next thing to do taking this as the center draw a circle having diameter equal to 10 millimeter that is wire diameter or radius as 5 millimeters then with this as center draw another circle then with this keep on doing this let me just mark them mark all the centers done done so if you have seen my previous videos this is going to be a piece of cake for you very easy okay and then the next best thing to do is to join all these points in proper sequence with the help of a smooth curve and then finally you are going to get this conical profile of the spring and uh, let me just <laughs> hold the blue color it's going to look something like this this is the axis uh, of the spring rather and this is finally what you need to do okay edge pencil dark and thick right this is the cross section okay and finally if you want to see how the dimensions would look it's it's the final design is here in front of you here it is that's it that's the final design okay so this spring can be manufactured once you provide this design uh, this blueprint to to a production manager done so this is the outer diameter of the coil at outer diameter of the coil at the top that is 42 this over here is the outer diameter of the coil at the bottom that is 72 this is the axial advance in one revolution that is pitch and this over here represents the wire diameter 
so guys that was all for today i'll see you again in the next video until then take care have a nice day keep learning keep watching and thank you